Yeah, so folks, and welcome to Vasily's Garden in Coburg. We're at the front of the garden here, and I'm looking at the planter boxes. So I came down to help the team here because they've been flooded with work and orders to come in. And look at this, it's just jumping with joy. This is our broccoli now. A couple of weeks ago, we showed you these tiny little heads. Have a look at it now, starting to form. This one's even bigger. Nice, beautiful head. What are they worth in the supermarket, eh? And what do they compare like to the ones in the supermarket? Ask yourself that question. Have you ever sat down to actually eat a lettuce from the supermarket? In fact, you know what, we're gonna do that. Not now, but I'm gonna buy a lettuce from the supermarket and get one of ours from Lethbridge, put them side by side and compare them. I'm sure many of you have done it and know the difference. It's obvious, but at the end of the day, we've got to talk about it. Otherwise, those who've never grown will never know. And have a look at this tomato. Now, folks, can I say to you that this is our microclimate that's doing this, along with our planting mix. Have a look at this. This is a beefsteak tomato that I planted in here. It's stretched. It has stretched. It looks great, doesn't it? The fact that it's growing so big so quickly. In fact, I don't like it like that, to be honest with you. I, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. This is stretching too fast for me. There are flowers just here where my fingers are. There's some flowers over there. Oh, we've actually got flowers down at the bottom. They haven't even formed yet, these flowers down here. So we've got a lot of heat in this area. That's what's happening. The kale's bolted because it's getting too warm for it. So these are going to get cut off. The tomato is stretching really fast, which is fine, but the heat that we're getting is perfect for the capsicum. Have a look at that. It's not stretching, it's nice and warm. In fact, it's actually protected by the leaves of the broccoli. And that's gonna form really well. But here, this is a frame, by the way, for those who've never seen one before. These are tomato frames you can use. You can climb anything in them if you like. You can put cucumbers in there as well. But I was telling you earlier, down here, some flowers. See the tiny little flowers? It's our planting mix, and I'm just going to stress that again. It's our planting mix that we're growing it in. And we've got some other stuff that are growing in the planting mix. And just remember this, see the, the size of it? It's actually grown 30, 60 centimetres at least. Two shoots, great, like a vine. This will need double the height than what I've got here, at least. I kid you not, at least it'll need double the height. It's going to stretch out and trail everywhere on me. Let's compare that to what's going on inside. Have a look at these ones. Now, these are the ones we're growing in the grow bags or the grow pots. Laura Petalums around them, just to show you. This has got the uh, grow stick in it. And what I was telling you before about the stretching, how the other ones were stretching, beefsteak tomatoes, exactly the same variety. Look at the difference. Now, the difference is, and they're growing in the planting mix as well so it's not only the soil folks it's not only the medium you've got in the ground that makes a difference it's also the quality of our microclimate look at that little beauty eh? tell me that's not kicking goals there look at the cluster of flowers on this one here all right so the microclimate at the front is way too hot for the tomatoes yeah they'll still produce don't get me wrong but they'll stretch too much they need a bit of shade or a little bit cooler climate so it's perfect for Cucumbers, which, which is what we're planting, and capsicums over there. But tomatoes, this is what you want to see. Setting fruit from a young plant like that, not stretching so high. And giving you some beautiful tomatoes to enjoy. Oh, tasty. That's what everyone's here doing today, selecting the tomatoes. And the last thing before we go, come and have a look, quickly. You want to buy tomatoes, folks? <laughs> Have a look at this place. It's nuts. We've got tomatoes, capsicums, eggplants. Okay, this is a little promo for the garden center in Coburg. If you're looking for your seedlings to plant near Cup Day, which is happening this weekend, next weekend, this is where you've got to be down in Victoria. If you're in Victoria, say hello. We've got all our tomato range. Look, they're coming in trolleys. We've got tons of trolleys sitting at the back ready to ship out as soon as these ones move on. Folks, we get up for it. All the favorite varieties, and we're talking over 30 or 40 variety of tomatoes, eggplants and capsicums. I'm gonna take one of each and go home and plant these too. 
<laughs> You've got to love it, but nothing better than a big malaka. And there's a handful left too. Check out our website, vasilisgarden.com. The big malaka is still a handful there. And all the tomatoes, capsicum and eggplants, and cucumbers and chilies and basil that you need at Vasili's Garden in Coburg. For more information, go to our website, vasilisgarden.com. From me, Vasili, Maresi.